with Nicole. Today we are going to make a hyaluronic acid anti-aging serum with orange blossom water and vitamin E. So this is a serum that is uh, going to help keep your skin hydrated. We're going to use hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid holds about a thousand times its weight in water. It's really good for keeping the skin hydrated, helps to create um, more collagen production in your skin, and just has an overall hydrating and anti-aging effect. So uh, we're gonna use this as our base, and it takes a little bit of time, but we just need that with some water, and if you don't have, uh, if you don't have a floral water, like the one I'm using, you can just use regular water. That works just fine. I'm gonna use this little, uh, pump uh, bottle that I got on Amazon, I think, for it. So it's an airless pump. Um, I think these work the best, but you can go with a little, a little dropper bottle if that's easier for you to find. Here's another ingredient we're gonna add in there is our vitamin E oil. So let's get started. You're gonna wanna start with about a quarter of a cup of your floral water. So again, this is orange blossom water. I got this at an international market. It's just amazing. It makes me hungry, actually. So I'm going to use a quarter cup of that. Again, if, if you can't find that, you can just use regular water. It's okay. Um, and you can add essential oils to it for a little bit more uh, medicinal effects on your skin. Um, or just try this. I mean, this stuff is so fun and easy to make. You can make a different variety every time you make it. So you're going to need to shake this a lot. So I'm just going to use this little ball jar and um, use that for my shaker. So to a quarter cup, we're gonna use our hyaluronic acid powder. So this one came from Micro Ingredients and um, we're using, it does come with a little teeny scooper, but we, I'm not sure exactly what that is. So, and it doesn't say. So I'm gonna use my own uh, measuring spoon and this is a quarter teaspoon, the smallest. So we want an eighth of a teaspoon per quarter cup. So that's your starting point. If you wanted it to be thicker, you can add more. So that's about an eighth of a teaspoon. And I'm going to add it to my floral water. And then I'm going to add about 10 drops of vitamin E oil. So the vitamin E is also anti-aging antioxidants, good for moisturizing the skin, and that's really the whole purpose of what we're doing. So the water needs to be cold. If it's not cold, you can add a little ice to it. Screw on your lid, make sure it's really tight, and then we're just gonna shake, 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 shake. And it's not gonna look like a whole lot at first. You can see it's kind of chunky, but as time goes on, and this agitation that's happening, it gets thicker. See how it's getting thick? That's what you want. You can make it really thick or really watery, just depending on how you like the consistency of it. So play around with a few different recipes. And anyway, so you can see where we're going with this. Um, so keep shaking it, try to dissolve as many of the little particles as you can. And then you're gonna to wanna to put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours, and that way it'll get all the way thick. But before you do that, um, if you can get it to the point, I'm gonna speed this along just for the video's sake. Before you get to that point, you want to um, try to get everything dissolved in there so that there's no issues um, getting it out of the pump. And then we're just gonna pour it here. Oh, it smells so good. It's really good. Ooh, this could get messy. Do, do, do. A few chunks in there should have been shook out. So my little anti-aging serum, ooh. And screw it on. And I, this is just fancy. You definitely don't have to have this kind of pump. One like this will do. And there you have it. So you're just gonna use this in the morning and at night is what I do. And uh, you don't have to keep it in the fridge. You see it's kind of a thick serum and you can put it all over face, neck. It actually feels awesome and smells really, really good. So uh, those are some of the basics. You can uh, change the ingredients. You can add vitamin C, you can add different essential oils. You can change 
the flower water to a hydrosol if you want. So the sky's the limit here in getting creative. Just have fun with it and enjoy. If you like that video, give it a thumbs up and go ahead and click the subscribe button along with a little bell for notifications on all of my videos.